Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Vince over here at Mangatech Motorsports again, showing you guys uh, <clears throat> more stuff that you shouldn't do. Uh, working on <clears throat> this uh, old Nova here. It's got a Miss Spark distribution uh, ignition module on here. And uh, basically on these modules, they've got three main wires coming out of here. You've got a, a small red wire, like a 16 or 14, that's probably 16 gauge red wire coming out of here. This is your trigger. This, this is what switches the box on. Uh, and then you've got a main power and a ground. Each one of these wires, I would venture to say, is probably like a 10 gauge wire. I didn't actually put a, put a gauge on here. But uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good size wire there coming out of there. Um, MSD suggests that you, um, actually they, they tell you to um, put your power and your ground directly to your battery. The reason why is this red wire here switches the box on and off. So you can leave constant power to there. It's probably got an internal relay in there, something solid state possibly, or maybe just an old, old school relay that switches the actual power, this wire on and off. <clears throat> but that's done through this wire. This wire is just a trigger wire. So you wire this to your ignition switch when you turn 12 volts on. This turns the module on and turns the internal switch on and turns the power on. So you want to leave this connected to the battery. And when I say battery, I mean battery, not to the friggin' frame rails, not to the roll cage, not to the underside of the dash, to the battery. It needs to go back to the battery. It needs to be as little resistance uh, to the battery as possible. I started dewiring this car, and uh, as I was pulling the wires out of it, I found that all all the grounds were all looped together in one nasty vampire clamped harness. First of all, when I see shit like this on a car, the first thing I want to do is rip every fucking thing out of the car. Excuse my French, but. Um, these these aren't made for putting in a car. Um, don't ever ever wire a car with anything like this. Um, then I find stuff like this, like you got wires hanging out here. I mean, it is a ground, but um, yeah, you've got all the grounds tied together. Going back through one wire that went out here to the frame rail of the car, and it was grounded right here on this little lug. That ain't right. <clears throat> What you need to do is go all the way to the back to the battery in the trunk and uh, and ground your MSD separately and let the MSD ground through one 10 gauge wire that goes all the way to the back of the car so it drains well and it powers well. So this basically had an awesome power feed. This was going to the solenoid that's sitting on the firewall that triggered the uh, the starter. It was on the, the constantly hot side of the solenoid and this uh, this ground wire was connected through that harness to the frame rail up there. The car will never run right like that, so uh, you gotta remember if, uh, if MSD says to put it to the battery, there's a reason they tell you to put it on the battery. Um, it's because if you don't do it, then it probably won't work right. Um, so, yeah, anytime it says go to battery, go to battery, and make sure you use the right gauge wire and don't use vampire clamps, because if I find vampire clamps on your car, I'll rip your car apart the track. Okay, I won't really do that, but I'll give you a hard time. Anyway, uh, we're continuing on this little install here. We're throwing a FuelTech 600 harness on here and uh, doing fuel injection, getting rid of the CNS carburetor off here and um, getting rid of the blow through backfire flamethrower um, setup and actually put some intelligent control on here. We got coal unplugged now, um, one coal per cylinder. So uh, we can have nice timing control and also have a, a nice Wilson throttle body on here some billet atomizer injectors down there. It's going to be a pretty nice setup. Uh, F2 Pro Charged, uh, 408 cubic inch little mill in here. We'll start a little in, little in block. <clears throat> Running about 16 pounds. Um, it should do something. We'll see. Once we get on the dyno. You guys stay tuned. I'll uh, keep you guys posted.